Hi guys, welcome back. It's Joy's Love, the number one empress, and I will be doing a love reading for my Virgos. Yep, this is for my gods and goddesses. Let's see what's going on with your love situation. For the new year coming in. Okay, I see money, money, money. Money, but I ain't ready to take it yet, so... God, so a spirit, I ask you coming to me and let me say your words on my own so I can give my Virgos the best reading possible, as accurate as possible. Thank you, spirit. Amen. All right. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Hit the bell on the side so you can get all the updated videos uh, when I post them. If you would like to donate to the channel or get a personal reading, the information will be in the description box below. Check it out. Okay, and I just want you guys to know that, you know, before I, you know, turned this on, I did a little meditation on your sign, and I got the throat chakra for you guys, that you need to just work a little bit more on your throat chakra, um, wear blue to open it up, get you a blue candle, go by the ocean or the lake or some type of water, take a long bubble bath, you know, so that you can op open your chakra up, so you can be more assertive. Um, in a kind way, and, you know, you could just, you know, feel a little more freedom within your voice, you know, you know, just um, speaking up for yourself and, you know, expressing yourself and your creativity, all right? Let's see what's going on for my Virgos. All right, you just feeling content at this time, and you, um, just ready to receive all the blessings that you have. Virgos, you are, you know, feeling in love, feeling vibrant, feeling like you just um, with the right person at this time. You're learning to, to put your guards down, and you're just in a good space, it seems like. You know that you have many options, you know what I'm saying? You got many options at your disposal, but you're being very careful on what you do, what you're saying, how you move. All right, I'm loving this because you're trying to keep the peace within your home. You're trying to keep the peace within your partner. You're just, you know, just trying to be at a peaceful state and you ain't trying to figure out, you know, mess this up, okay? You, um... Right now, it looks like you could be dealing with a Scorpio, okay? Uh, yeah, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or Earth sign. Um, yo, another Virgo, uh, Capricorn, or Taurus, okay? And you just, uh, you're trying to stand up in your power and take action on your life, all right? You feeling like that. You know, you've been spending too much, and you're kind of trying to hold back now. You know what I'm saying? With this, with the person that you're with, you feel like that they're your happiness. You feel like that your family, they're everything that you wanted, you know. But somehow you keep feeling left out in the cold for some reason. Why? Why are you feeling left out in the cold before I move on? Let's see what's going on. Verify the Five of Pentacles. You're feeling alone. Why? Oh, because things are moving slow and you're just a bit bored at this time. Things are moving slow and you're bored. You're just thinking about, you know, how things used to be. You're feeling a bit bored and things are moving really slow for you. Okay, but just be optimistic of your future because you got uh, blessings on blessings coming your way. So don't worry about it. Uh, okay, um, Virgos, don't worry about it. Stand up in your power as the king of swords that you are and know that, you know, that you demand that you are a respectable person and people looking up to you and you will get the wish that you always wanted it's time for you to give yourself a little bit um a little um attention and care 
you know you might want to take a nice bubble bath you know what i'm saying and get you a glass of wine and you know your blunt your cigarette whatever you do and just close that door and relax okay you know what choice and a decision that you need to make you've been assessing your your situation for a very long time you know it's time for you to turn your energies in, into you okay and if you're having an issue with your person you're going to have to speak up there go that throat chakra you're going to have to speak up and say what it is that's bothering you okay so that you won't you know let this eat at you and then you start vibrating at a low vibration so speak up for yourself okay whatever it is if it's something little you know just be in the mind for your other person and you know speak from the heart all right, because it seems like you, I know that you feel like that, you know, you've been through a whole lot and you just want to move forward. I feel you, you know what I'm saying? You will conquer this situation, okay? You probably got somebody from the past that keep on, you know, that's trying to sneak back, okay? Be mindful of that. Know that um, things will start to balance out for you. Can I get an outcome and advice? Look at that. As soon as I said that, the Six of Pentacles. Things will start to balance out for you and, you know, stop looking in the past. Whatever was in the past, whoever is there trying to come back, lead them where they at. There ain't no time for you to cry over spilled milk. You turn around and get the cups that God has for you. And you got many blessings that's coming your way. So be content within yourself and lead the past where it's at. Okay? Trust God so a spirit on your um, journey and you will be successful. All right. I'm loving this for my Virgos. So remember to wear a little more blue so that you can radiate your aura and, and boost it up. It's time for you to, you know, I know you're feeling a little bored and, and, and um, feel like things is moving slow, but just be patient, okay? Be patient. Be patient. Be, be, be patient, okay? Um, I'm going to give you an oracle card. The sun is reading up. Let's shake this energy a bit. Thank you, spirit. Can I get an oracle card for my Virgos? My gods and goddesses. One oracle card for my Virgos. Okay. One card for my Virgos. Spirits, what's going on? Can I have one card? You, you saying they know what they need to do? We just want to see now. See, y'all very smart people, and you know what you need to do. You just got to do it. Okay, so right now, trust the niggle. What is the niggle feeling trying to tell you? What is it, Virgos? Trust the niggle. What is that niggle trying to tell you? Whatever that niggle trying to tell you, you better be intuitive and feel it, hear it. And vibrate, vibrate to it, okay? Trust the niggle and move about that. When they say the niggle, that's your good feeling. So you got to get in tune with yourself, get that energy back to you so you can make the right choices for you moving forward in your life, okay? Pray about your situation. Trust God so a spirit, let it go, and things will start to balance out for you. All right, good luck with everything, Virgos. Thanks again for like, subscribing, and commenting and everything. I love each and every comment. Uh, keep it going. Thanks for all the subscribers. I love you guys. And until next time, it's Joy's Love, the number one imprint. Peace.